Hi, this is Suzanne Clegg of SpiritGate.com with another answer to a frequently asked question, which is, what exactly is your octave resonance healing approach to cancer? So this, this um, way of, let's see, so how do I explain this? Um, I came to cancer um, through uh, my longtime acquaintance and uh, my husband's um, uh, work buddy, Bill Bankston. I was sort of in the wings when he did all his mice research. Church. You know, he's done like 15 peer-reviewed university level studies showing complete cancer emissions in mice. And um, I, uh, I remember going to events at his, um, you know, like, because he and my, my husband were in, in the faculty together at St. Joseph's College. I'd go to parties at his house and I would meet people that he had he had worked on and had healed and and I would like ask him how he did it and he would tell me what he did and I I just thought that's ridiculous that can't that can't work with cancer and I was actually sort of snobbish because I'd been an acupuncturist since like 1980 and I you know I just felt like I knew energy medicine and I just thought that he was special I thought that he um, was um, magical I just didn't know what I, I could see that he got results and I and I believed in that he was the real deal but I when he told me what he did I, I said well that can't possibly be it um, and um, so I got my courage to um, to work with cancer when I finally sort of humbled myself and said you know what I don't get his results maybe he knows something that I don't know and maybe he's been telling me all these years that um, he can teach me and would be happy to teach me and um, and I should take him up on it. So I took him up on it and um, I brought my patients to him and he taught me how to, to treat them. He showed me what I was doing and what I, you know, how to tweak my technique. And now I like to do that for my patients. I like to bring their, somebody interested in um, Sometimes I just work on them, you know, I just work one-on-one -on -one with patients, but um, just to keep the cost down and the convenience up, I like to, if my patients have people in their family or friends that can give them treatments, I like to train them um, how to do this very kind of simple to learn technique that can actually stop pain, cool down tumors. I have a little video on how to do it. You can learn how to do it in an hour. Um, you can learn how to start doing it because you have to practice to get better at it. but. But you can learn the basics in an hour, and um, and then I come in as the the person with the clinical experience. Okay, so to answer the question of what is my octave resonance healing approach, is that through the years I've learned that just doing what um, what Bill Bankston taught me um, didn't work a lot of the time, and I did it diligently and I did it well and I was good at it, and my patients were diligent and they were good at it and they died, and. Um, I had to look deeper. Now, why did they die? What wasn't happening? And how come some of them seemed to plateau and I was able to get them off the plateau and then they were able to live much longer? And how come others, it seems like, you know, where did it go wrong? And I started, um, you know, before I learned, before I mentored with Bill, like I said, I was already a seasoned holistic health provider, an acupuncturist, a nutritionist, a dietitian. That's a dietitian, that's the same thing. I was a sound healer, I was senior faculty of of the Acutonics Institute of Integrative Medicine, um, herbalist, what else was I? Probably a couple other things. And um, I, um, was, you know, was teaching in hospitals. I was, you know, just a full holistic health professional. So I thought, well, what can I, instead of thinking, am I doing it right? Am I doing it the way uh, Bill Bankston um, taught me? Like, how, what do I know? What can I bring of all these years and years and years of experience to, to the discussion? And I've distilled that into my octave resonance healing approach. And it's a fourfold approach to just looking at the whole person. So at the foundation of this is the physical level. And so on the physical level with cancer, we look at what's the temperature of the tumor? What's the, um, where do you put your hands? how frequent do you treat like just all the real physical things the next level up is the life force and this has to do with um, how that the tumor responds does it cool down does it heat up is there a fever is there a ch are there chills um, how is the body operating in general and this is all the stuff I got really 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 good at as an acupuncturist 
because that is what acupuncture does, is it, it manipulates the life force. It takes energy from one place and puts it to another place. If the life force is sort of stuck here, it's probably too much somewhere else. And so I learned that if I could um, bring in um, the things I knew about the life force, sometimes I could get the Bankston method to work um, and get it started to working better. Um, and I, so I learned when to use what treatments to enhance um, the, the Bankston method, and also what, um, what, what I was doing that actually interfered with, with the Bankston method working. So, and, you know, after a while you develop an, an intuition for these things. You can sense whether it's something you're doing is helping or not. And then you get feedback and you measure it and all those good things. Okay, so the next level, or I call it octave, um, is um, the octave of emotions and images. And um, this is a part of our being, of our, of, of our self, that we share with animals. Animals also have emotions and they, they perceive images in their, in their consciousness. And um, they, um, these, there are so many, many cancer cures that have to do with healing your emotions, healing the root cause, healing the emotional trauma that created the whole disconnect in the first place. And I have seen so many people um, work so much with these and have it not do, and the cancer sort of marches on. And yet, and so in some ways I have a lot of respect for these methods because it, it, to me it seems like good eating, good food, good... Um, oh, that, the other thing with the life force is I also do um, nutrition. To me, nutrition fosters your life forces. If you feed yourself living food, um, it, it helps you live. Um, and I have whole theories about nutrition and, and cancer and, and ideas of how to help people, being a, a nutritionist and dietitian and everything. So, um, but back to the, um, the octave of emotions and images, um, I have developed, I feel like the Bankston method is in itself um, in this octave because his method has to do with um, uh, using rapid image cycling and um, uh, perceiving uh, what's going on with your intuition. So his method is actually in that realm of emotions and images. Um, but then what happens with me is that I am a medical intuitive and I actually get information intuitively in the form of symbolic images. So part of my uh, style of treatment is to ask for images that will help me be aware of how to help my patient. And I ask and I get these images and I share them with them. And um, I find that enormously helpful. And sometimes it just helps you, just a little tiny tweak of, of what you're doing and suddenly it, it starts working and the tumor starts cooling down and you start sleeping through the night and it's just amazing. And um, it's some of these emotional, psycho-spiritual things that, that we did that helped, helped make it all work. Okay, and then the next level or octave up is the spiritual level. And the spiritual level is beyond emotions and images. It's sort of a place where these come from. You can have what's called sense-free thinking. That's the lower level of the spiritual. And then there's levels of the spiritual that are beyond thinking. And I like to think that healing comes from this dimension, if you will. And if you get high enough or far enough, which, I mean, these spatial words don't quite describe it, um, but there's a, a spiritual place that the only way I can describe it is non-dualistic. It's a spacious quality that I, I sense, that I'm there with, and it feels like nothing with a capital N. And um, it is just a presence. Um, it's a love of truth. It's a love of... Um, it's just a beingness. And I know how to get there, and I know how to train other people to get there. And often I use the Bankton method, but sometimes I use other techniques to do that. And all these things together form the octave resonance healing approach to cancer. So um, I guess the take home message is yes, I use the Bankston method. I use rapid image cycling. I teach my patients how to use it. Um, but I also use so many variations on those things that they hardly, re they hardly resemble those things, but they, they were, um, but I, I come at it from a, 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 I come at it from the whole person and then we see what we need to do. And then, um, so it's in, it's always very individualized, and um, yeah, and that's what we do. Okay, take care.